The problem reads an apartment building has 134 rooms that have not yet been rented. 56 of the rooms in the apartment building are already occupied. How many rooms are in the apartment building? The first thing I want to do according to my mathematician's plan is to read and interpret the question. I know there is an apartment building with a lot of rooms. Some are rented and some are not. So this question's asking me to find the number of rooms in the apartment building. I can draw a picture to help me visualize this problem. I know that we're combining the two amounts, and when we combine two amounts to find a total, that means we need to use addition to find the answer to this word problem. Now I can write a number sentence to represent the problem I'm trying to solve. 134 plus 56 equals R, which stands for rooms. Or I can just write a question mark. We're now going to learn a new way to represent our counting. We've already counted in this way by breaking apart numbers by their place value and adding them back together. If you haven't watched this video, I definitely do recommend watching the adding by breaking apart numbers in word problems. This time, however, I'm going to represent my thinking on the number line. We'll draw an open number line and start by placing the largest of my add-ins on the number line, which is 134. Now, I have to add 56 to this number, but that is difficult to do in my head, so I'm going to break 56 into their place values 50 and 6, and that will be easier to add them on my number line. I know 13 tens plus 5 tens is 18 tens, so 134 plus 50 is 184. Now I can add 6. This leads me to my answer of 190. As always, whenever I finish solving a problem, I ask myself, does my answer make sense? And yes, my answer makes sense because it is greater than or equal to each of my add-ins. Mm -hmm.